trees worth looking at too. This is another uh, Caleb Neurogy. Oh wow! Um, this is part creation. of the base. Yeah. That is awesome. The the, the entrance entrance to the base is directly below this tree. Um, if you yeah, if you look around outside, there's really not much to see at all aside from that tree. There's some landing pads on top of the uh, megaflora. That's very cool. I didn't even know that that was a fake tree. I thought that was a... Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Nice one. Okay, yeah, so... I love how she's done it, how she's uh, flipped that succulent tree upside down. It makes really good looking roots. That was very clever. Anyway, I'm joined by um, tea bags right now, people in the view of us, and he's going to take us into a build that they've been doing. Uh, so I want to say they, there's a few people, isn't there, tea bags? Yes, there's... Uh... Me and uh, Narozi, who I'm sure you're all familiar with, and Shim Banjo, who famously discovered the Banjo glitch. Um, they're both amazing builders, and I uh, was lucky enough to have them along here. Um, cool. I've spent a lot of time here. It's a big collaborative effort. We've had uh, Nawana over, we've had Boyd over. It, yeah. It, Very the cool. Build, the build count. The build count currently uh just shy of six thousand barbara um, blaze as well isn't there and yes barbara blaze yeah. uh heaven's merc well okay not heaven, heaven's up, and, up and coming builder oh, cool um this area here i actually need to decorate um so we'll just ignore this platform <laughs> this is just the entrance way um, turn my torch on or did i just turn yeah, my we'll torch see, on uh, <laughs> uh you can have, have it have it on uh, okay, cool. uh, it storms up in here from time to time, uh, not very often. Oh uh, my days! This is like a Smurf village. And... Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm looking forward to watching your stream so I can see how it's rendering on your end. But uh, I've had good reports so far. It, it looks like it's all here. Um, I mean, it's massive. Yeah. I don't Biggest I've... cave I've ever seen in No Man's Sky. Oh, I love all the waterfalls. Oh yeah, uh, that is that is Nerozi. There, um, she's used teleporters, so it's a bit of a um, you know you roll the dice every time you teleport here. Where the <laughs> hell are you going to pop out of? But uh, <laughs> cool. Oh, this is yeah, great. they look great. This is like an Ewok village or something. This is yeah. I'm well impressed. Okay, cool. Where do we start? Uh, right, there's a uh, staircase down here that uh, leads cool. all the way down. Okay, that the little bit of staircase is missing there. I'd have to jump there. Uh -oh. That's all cool. Nice Persian rugs. Um, yep, yeah, a little bit of a big hookah in pipe in there for the nip nips. Lovely. Yeah. Cool. Oh, it's t tobacco only in my country, unfortunately. But Isn't it? We're saving I heard, ours, I heard actually. They use, I heard they use nip nips in it from time to time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> only for I medicinal uses. Medicinal only. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we can take a left here and go down to the village, but we'll take a quick detour over to uh, Shim Banjo's treehouse. This is an actual uh, megaflora that grew down here in this cave. Oh, sweet. Um, I like this uh, bridge. That's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, glitching separators. Oh, I love very them. Very nice. I like the hammock. Ha! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> That's such a cool idea. Yeah, me and Banjo actually uh, both built hammocks at the same time, um, completely <laughs> separate without communicating about hammocks, which just, just happened. Nice. Um, yeah, two different styles, you'll spot my ones somewhere when you get to it. Cool, coming up the ladder. They actually work the ladders, that's awesome. Yes. Budging hack. Oh, I like this right, little uh, seat with a canopy above it. The attention to detail is mental. Ah, yeah, uh, Banjo and Narozi are pretty phenomenal with their interiors. I, I, I can't come close to doing interiors like those two. I'm Is... more of a uh, big structures builder. Oh, I, I like the um, the pint pumps. Yeah, look at all that. Look at all the little logos on that. Have you noticed that these um, holographic Gek guys make Viking noises? Do they? Yeah, freaking annoying. I had some on my freight. I ended up releasing them. I just them noticed that now. Yeah, weird. They're broken. It is weird. Yeah. Um. Ah. 
He's got this uh, staircase spiralling around the trunk here. I, I don't actually know how the hell he managed to do that so perfectly, but he did. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, nothing much up here, just a lookout platform. And uh, I'm curious to see if you can uh, if you can see the wonder projector inside there. I oh, can, yes. Yeah. So there's like a, a Saturn-y oh, type lovely. ringed planet yeah. above a, a crystal. That's very cool. They are they are a great new part. I think they are. Um, they're, ah! awesome, but they're quite hit or hit or miss whether they uh, function or not. I think I beat you down. There was a, a tile oh, missing for me. I fell all the way down, landed okay. on the ladder. I, I'm just at the bottom of the ladder. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'm right behind you. Right, cool. Um, probably come back over the bridge now and uh, keep heading heading down. Oh yeah. Uh, what the glitch separated bridge? Oh yeah, I see you. Yeah, yep. there you go. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, got a little bit of a uh, social area over here. Cool. So you're making use of the uh, new garb as well from the autophages. I like your little um, shroud that you've yeah. got on. Very I'm also cool. wearing a cape, which you probably can't see, unfortunately. No, I can't see the cape. That's one thing I, I, I wish I'd do something about that. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Real cloth physics. Yeah, so just push the engine just a little bit too... Oh, look, there's a little creature here as mm. well. That's yeah, cool. there's a lot of wildlife down here. Um, you'll also uh, there's a sandworm that uh, yeah. from time to time will come blasting through. Wow. Um, yeah, uh, meteors. <laughs> um, if you if it storms up while you're down here, um, it looks really amazing. If you stand inside one of the buildings and then just pan um, camera mode outside, it's got this really awesome ambient fog effect. That's crazy. Um, so if people did want to come and visit this place on tea bags, I mean, it's in Galaxy 41, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, yeah. That was deliberate. I've had a lot of problems with people not necessarily trolling my bases, but just polluting the planet. So they dump bases all over the place and way too close. Yeah. Um, then I, I, I honestly think 99% of those people have zero malicious intent, but mm. they just don't. They don't understand that it really messes with other people's builds when you build so close. Um, yeah, cool. And then there's the combles. I hate comble pollution. Cool. Um, yeah, well, I won't be putting the portal coordinates out on this one. Um, I mean, I mean, if anybody does want to come here, it's probably invite and through you and the other kind. Yeah, well, it's I'm 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 really easy to contact. Um, cool. Look for me on 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 I'm on the index and I'm well I'm groups. Sweet. Um, this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, this is a quick little decorate by me. Um, Very you'll, cool. you'll, you'll spot the difference. You'll walk into a different building and be like, wow, this looks amazing. Um, and that would be one of the ones that Kayla did. <laughs> um, Very cool. I love all the yeah. use of all the glowing parts that you guys have used. I think I've almost seen every single part that has a glow... Yeah, we uh, we wanted to uh, try and keep it more um, of like a an organic style build rather than have too much electricity all over the place. Mm -hmm. I do like Even these the, lights uh, though with the fireflies that fly around them though. That, that's a real nice ad. Yeah, they were a little bit of a stretch, mm. and it, like, but I don't know. They look great. Um, yeah, they they put off good light. Um, uh, I suppose we could detour down into the uh, forest area over here. This is this um, is cool. I have I've recolored all these trees. They keep turning green for me. So if they're all green for you, they they should be colourful, but they still look good when they're green. And this is actual water, water, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. This is a moon pool. Oh, you've turned a moon pool upside the other way. Yeah, it's just kind of I half actually buried. And... I actually thought this was actual proper water. That's that's so cool. Cleverly done. Yeah. It's actually got better water physics, actually, than the actual oceans, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I really wish they'd, uh, they'd update the oceans. They, they look, um, they're very stagnant. Yeah, it just looks bad when you, you swim into the surface, doesn't it? It's not so bad when you're in yeah. the water, but surface swimming is just a bit wrong. I like this little mm. tent. That's very nicely put together as well. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, that's, uh, that's zero glitch building. That's just a bit of um, height manipulation and free rotation. Free placement, yeah. And the fireplace yeah. is great. That's just a flaming barrel under that, isn't it? 
Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. I love it. Just buried it, buried under the floor, and the fire comes up through. Simple but effective. Makes a great little snug mm. in there with those rolled up rugs. Very nice. Yeah. I'm so impressed. This 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 is really cozy, really homely. So is this part yeah, of a hub yeah. or something, tea bags? Are you going to be using no, this, this, you guys? Was, this was um, me looking for something big to do since upgrading to a PS5. Oh, okay. Um, I've been I've been stuck on PS4 up until September. My uh, my wonderful partner got me a PlayStation 5 for my birthday. Ah, oh, uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shout yeah, out to Mrs. To the Teabags. Moon. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Couldn't ask for a better woman, man. Ah, um, that's cool. But yeah, I was just, I was, I was, I was blown away at how much better bases render on PS5. Um, oh. I went around all, all of my old builds and revamped a lot of them and added to them. I pushed a lot of them all the way to 3000 and I thought, shit, I, I made a new save when I started PS5 for the expedition. And uh, this is that save, so I uh, thought, why not? Why not just make something enormous? Um, don't need to worry about uploading it. Cool. Just make something big and cool that can go on YouTube. Everyone can look at it that way. And well, I've had we very are. mixed results on my PS5. If it's a freshly lo uploaded base, I sometimes have problems with rendering. But then there's parts of this that you've only just finished today, isn't there? And yeah, I'm seeing well, everything so far. I've pretty much half of the space is not uploaded at all um okay we did we did hit 3000 and i uploaded it at that point um but it was very barren there wasn't a lot of garden all the buildings were empty yeah so uh yeah i guess there, there'll there'll be something here if you come here without me but uh I don't know. I'm glad to hear you've got all you, you've got all the detail coming through. Yeah, that, nice. That's great. You can see a load of different coloured flowers behind this picnic table. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, a couple of couple of teepees here. Yeah. So far, everything you've said, I've seen. So I'm hoping that when you watch this back, you're like, "Yep, he sees everything." Yeah, um, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, got a little, uh, <laughs> little pirate hut. I just saw the, another creature uh, walk past. I don't know whether you saw the same thing. You know, but, yeah, yeah. They they tend to stick to the road. Just That's so cool. <laughs> because you don't normally get animals or pets go into bases. Yet they're just free roaming down here. Yeah. Bloody awesome. I think this this place is just so huge. Um, mm -hmm. like I I I found this cave in my ship. There, I, I I was just flying around in these caves and came across this one. Wow. Um, yeah, the, like I could turn circles in here, no problem. Well, I am proper blown away with this. This is craziness. Um, we've got uh, Kayla's first waterfall. Okay. Here. Kayla's Narosi, by the way. Um, oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, can you see the uh, the creatures in the water? Creatures in the water. Yes, yeah, <laughs> living Leviathan frigates. Oh, that yeah. works so well. It's like a koi pond, but uh, more sinister. Uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't put your fingers in there. Nah, nah, definitely not. Yeah, have you no noticed my guy's a quadruple amputee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. He fell in the pond. Oh, <laughs> dear. Dead. Robotic yeah. limbs. <laughs> Yeah, I was absolutely blown away at how great these waterfalls look. Um, and she did this in like 45 minutes. Just just slapped this thing on the wall. That was Narosi, yeah? Yeah. That is she's, so cool. Yeah, she's something else. Oh yeah, I see the teleporters used as little ponds. That's really cool. I suck at wire placement building. <laughs> It takes a bit of getting used to, but uh, once you're there, uh, mm -hmm. you can you can use it to put anything on pretty much any angle, in any space. That's impressive. It looks awesome. That really does. Yeah, they can be very finicky though. I was just in camera mode, taking a, a butchers at those. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I like this little yeah. uh, ring here. That's cool. Little well little well oh very cool 
with a bucket and everything. That's 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 quite cute. That's awesome. Yeah, got I a, like it. Got a and handle on a crane over handles. here. If you use your imagination hard enough. Oh no, you don't even have to use your imagination for that. It's all connected <laughs> through freaking wires. That's so clever. Oh wow. I've actually got a grin from ear to ear while I'm walking around this, mate. This is, this oh, is brilliant. Great. I was, uh, I, was, I, was, I was hoping for a uh, good reaction. <laughs> yeah. It, my mouth has been half open the whole time, like in amazement. But, yeah, big grin as well. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, entrance gate. Uh, this house here is... I love Another the torches on the entrance Norwegian gate. Creations. It looks like something out of King Kong, doesn't it? That's, that's a gate. Yeah, I, I actually, um, when I first built it, I placed the um, the the T uh, Rex skull on on top of it in the centre, oh. and yeah. it, it, it looked awesome. I gotta yeah. say, but it was it was too aggressive looking for the build. It just didn't match. So <laughs> I had to, cool. Had to take it down, but very nice. Maybe maybe on another build. Or do a fortress somewhere. Oh, what's up here? Can I go up? Ooh. Yep. Oh, I like the posters on this the wall. A, oh, this is snug. This is a little Nerosi house. Ah, oh, very cool. Yeah, I haven't actually been in here yet. Some of Nerosi's yeah, builds, Jim... especially the mushroom one, was amazing for attention yeah. to detail. This is lovely as well, though. I love the little, the little dishes and the, the lighting on the tables and the use of the decals. It, it just feels homely. See a little chandelier up top. Oh yeah. On the ceiling, oh. that's amazing. Oh, that that's is a bit clever. Of rafters in their hood. Uh. Yeah. See, she thinks of these details that I, I just, mm -hmm. I just don't. I never would. Very cool. She's actually a uh, cake designer in real life. I think. Oh, nice. Wow. It's something designed. She's just yeah. She's a creative genius. Sweet. Yeah. A little uh, veggie garden in here and the fish tanks on the side that's pretty interesting this was uh Nuana. um okay she actually wants to come back and put a few finishing touches on it but uh, she had to go to bed last night cool um, yeah, i speak to neri quite a lot actually on um, the old uh yeah, messenger she's a app. Darling. yeah great builder loves to uh love to show everybody how she how she achieves what she does which um, just makes the whole building community a better place. It's freaking ace. Yeah, there's, there's uh, a couple of little houses in here by me. Um, oh, nice. Nothing too cool. extensive. Just. Uh, oh, I like the uh, blueprint on the wall of the autophages. And the little barbecue. Yeah. Look at that. you got twin burners. <laughs> Oh my god! What's pumping the fire out that 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 high? Is that is that just uh, flaming barrels? It is, is it? I, I wasn't hundred yeah. percent sure. That's very cool. That's actually a little bit crooked. I need to straighten it up, but I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Oh, it looks it looks sort of rustic and thrown together. It's like yeah. a hillbilly hut. Na I love it. The na nature nature of the place, you can kind of get away with things being a little bit off center and yeah, quirky. Not too perfect. Uh, yeah makes it feel a little bit more believable actually doesn't it watch out for the big six-legged horse thing on the uh cool oh i, I feel i, I feel the, the worm, worm. <laughs> i don't see him gonna come through the cave this time oh i think i just saw it you oh, definitely, no. you Maybe. definitely hear it yeah oh i'm looking around for him i lost you there you are cool i'm so thankful that hello games um didn't make those things do uh destruction <laughs> <laughs> Well, for bases, uh, yeah, that would have been a bit yeah. horrendous. I think if they signposted them, like actually, you know, when you scan a planet, if it said megafauna, then you knew yeah. that it was a planet that had megafauna worms on there that could do damage, and that would have been all right. This is really nice. This is another one of yours. Yep. Ah, you got a hammock in here. Ah. And yours have got lights oh, yeah, on the ropes. Is... Very nice. Yeah, this is the ones that I uh, I did I did these at the same time as uh, Shimbanjo did his one. Just I like that. Very clever using the corner bits of the curtain. Yeah. Mm. Very cool. I never use those. Yeah, I I <laughs> did have them hanging uh, with it. Yeah, without the without the lights, and mm. uh, they just looked a little bit lacking. Um, yeah. But that works really well. Yeah. Love that. Like how they turned out. Yeah. Very clever. Um. 
Now this building over here is uh, Boyd. Oh, Boyd built this. Cool. Yep. Sweet. He. Yeah. Oh, nice Typical old... Boyd. He no, threw this together in un under under an hour. He was here for less than an hour. Yeah, um, he he built me a giant the... canine dog once. Freaking insane. He he go he goes super speed. Look at all the detail. Yeah, this is very cool. I love all these little cooking barrels and mm. stuff. And uh, yeah, he's got some mushrooms cooking there. And... Oh, very nice. Awesome. Oh, and an upstairs as well. Yeah. Sweet. A couple of little dormitories. Nice. Could put dibs on one of them. <laughs> Very nice. Like it. An upstairs area to just sit and chill. Wow. It feels like we probably haven't seen everything yet. Oh look, there's a, there's a water mill. There's a water mill. I see a water mill. <laughs> yeah, that's another Norozy creation. Cool. Uh, right behind you. Yeah, water wheel, waterfall. Oh, I so wish that you could put programmable parts in. Just to make that rotate would just be yeah. awesome. I'm hoping one day I'll be able to upload this. Hello Games will say we've doubled the upload limit. Go to 6K. Uh, right, so if you uploaded it now, would all of you have to upload your bases? No, well, this is only a single singular build. What? It's just all, It's all on my base computer. Holy um, shite. Okay. So, yeah, it, did, it, it crossed my mind to, to try and combine the two base computers, but it's so unreliable. I thought yeah. it would be better off just taking our chances doing it this way, and uh, it seems to have worked. That is that is so cool. So, uh, this uh, little uh, home here is Barbara Blaze. Oh, nice. Very cool. She's really upped her game to try and keep to the standard yeah. that you guys have put together here. Yep, she has. Um, I remember when I first met her, she was just just getting getting out building and uh, yeah, yeah, was le learning learning the glitch building side of things. But uh, this was probably be three or four years ago now. Um, mm. But yeah, you'd you'd know glitch building was a completely different game back then. Oh yeah. Yeah, timing was completely different. Everything was different back then, wasn't it? Oh, little yeah. teleporter. I see. Okay, cool. It's on its side. Yeah, brings you up to a roof. Oh, very cool. I like the little um, uh... moonbeamy type banistry type stuff around it. That really adds to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's, there's just so much going on. It's like even the curly coral over there lighting up the grass and stuff. There's... I love that grass. Um, it's yeah. such a it's, it's a really versatile, easy to place, and you can run straight through it. It's brilliant. Um, it does have annoying collision on um, on some of the other building parts, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you'll might... notice I've got a couple of couple of pieces. Of one of the, there's a there's a bit of grass right in front of me floating, um, which I need to move. But uh, uh, when I um, when I when I remove it, it cascades the um, the wall. Yeah. So. Uh, I'll fix it when I get around to fixing it. <laughs> it's gonna be a pain I always get that problem with floating grass. I mean, there's a, there's another one there yeah. and there, isn't there? But the, there's very little yeah. you can do about that apart from stuff some rocks under them or something. Yeah. Looks like a storm Probably might be, be rolling in in a minute. Rocks under. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Um. Cool. We'll get you in an inside spot. If, um. Where'd you go? We could have a look around in camera. Uh, where'd he go there he is <laughs> lost you yeah, so, oh on. this was uh this is heaven's merc up here wow he's built this little bar he did actually build a completely different um different structure but it was what he had Jeez. in mind was just too big too big for the uh for the build this looks like something out of monster hunter with the cats that make your food before you go out on a mission yeah uh, very cool Um, yeah, the storm has rolled in, but it's just a very gentle one. It's just brought some mist in. It really adds to the ambience. Yeah, 
it, yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, there's, there's certain spots where, like, if you go right out into the open, you'll get a proper storm and it's quite foggy, but, uh, mm. yeah, when you're standing on the more built-up areas, it, um, yeah, it just gives this lovely ambience. Um, at night time, it looks especially, uh, yeah, I, it looks great. I've, 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 I've taken a lot of screenshots. <laughs> um, uh. I do feel extremely honoured to be here, T Bag. This is this is such a cool base. Yeah, I'm 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 loving it. I'm loving how it's turned out. I I I love everything that everybody's done here. Um, I mean, it's shit. It's an honour to have all these awesome builders over here to contribute. That is cool. They've got no real easy way back if they haven't got a base here, though, have they? Unless they've put bases on other. No, I I, mean, I imagine most of them would have dropped dropped marker bases. Or um, okay. or just know me to get a lift over. Yeah. Um, Very cool. Yeah, but uh, yeah, there's a. I'm 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 expecting a few other bases on the planet at some stage. Um, cool. Some people want to build. I think um, Heaven's Merc might be doing a uh, great big un underground temple here somewhere because there's great great big caves like this all over the planet and um <laughs> cool. you know, i've i've done i've i've, I've logged over eight thousand hours in no man's sky since 2016 yeah. <laughs> um and I, i've never in my uh, in my time in the game seen a cave this big no me neither this is a real rare find you found something very precious here mm. now if they ever bring in those race initiators you know like for um like flying race initiators. Mm -hmm. If you could make a racetrack for ships through these caves, that'd be freaking sweet. That would, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. I hope they the, do put uh, those in. Yeah. The Sentinel ships would be pretty wild in here. Oh, yeah, because they can hover in place, can't they? Yeah. yeah and they nice. turn on a dime. Um, my, yeah, I, 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 I like, um, I like modding up my, uh, my ships. Um, I'm one of those gamers where everything I do has to has to be pushed as as high as the numbers it can go it can go you know. Um, I've got a couple of Sentinel ships with maneuverability up over four thousand. Jesus, um, okay. And they they are they are just out the gate. <laughs> nice. Fly. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah. Anyway, um, this is this is the the town centre. Um, I think you might have looked wow. around most of it. Um, that, that is so cool. From here, oh. if you yeah, suppose you could pop up into camera mode and never. Yeah, why not? I hate that they've. Of the place. Hate that they've put that report base button right next to camera mode. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I know. bloody dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it ta it takes a couple of um, couple of clicks to report a base though. Yeah. True. Um. Oh man, you guys have really outdone yourselves with this. This is phenomenal work. I like that a lot of the bases have all got sort of in keeping sort of style to them. I'm loving these Japanese style roofs to these little huts down here as well, with the criss yeah, crossing I, over. That's... Yeah, that was that was me, but I I picked that up off Kayla, um, the Rosie. She's yeah, she's got all, she she's got all the great ideas for these like little micro details. Um, it just comes up with things that I I never could. <laughs> so clever! And, I, I don't even know how you've done that. That to be honest, it's just free place. Free place, but what part? Yeah. What part is that for the roof? For the cross beams, uh, yeah. it's uh, short walls. Serious? Yeah. That's so clever. Love that. Yeah, and I didn't notice a steeple on the uh, one of the first ones we went through. It's almost like a church steeple on there. I think that's is that Boyd's actually. Not too yeah, sure. yeah, it's Boyd's with a steeple on it. I, I'm loving that he used that like a uh, stalactite for the <laughs> for the yeah. top. Yeah, I mean um, it it works in this cave, but anywhere else that'd just look like a giant turd, wouldn't it? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but it works here. It works here. Yeah. Uh, now that you've called it a steeple, I think we'll have to name that building the Holy Church of Void. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I really like the canopy above the uh, cooking area as well. I didn't see how much colour was up there before. Because yeah. we was at ground level. 
very awesome. Yeah, I, I think this is one of those builds. The more you, the more you wander around, the more you spot all the detail. It's um. Yeah, I'd say. And I think there was about five people here building at once yesterday. At one point. Was, that is um, so cool. It was cool. incredibly busy. <laughs> well, you've got something real special here, tea bags, and built by some real special people. So you're very lucky yeah. to have this. This is freaking amazing. Yeah, it's great. I'm pro probably going to keep adding to it until it starts lagging. Um, well, I'm actually surprised yeah. that it's not lagging already. This is as smooth as butter. Yeah, um, um, I'm, I'm surprised also. Uh, Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if they've updated something behind the scenes because it wasn't this good a couple of weeks ago. Well, when I first um, got my PS5, I'd done a base off with Damash Smash and uh, two others. And when we went to view each other's bases, you know, we've only been building for an hour. But a yeah. lot of the doors didn't render, you know, like the prefab doors. They just didn't render on any of the prefabs. It was weird. So we mm. couldn't go in each other's bases. It was just stupid. But this is looking. I, I'm really impressed. It's actually given me a bit more confidence to do a few more base tours, maybe even try doing base offs again in the new year. This is great. Yeah, well, if you've uh, if you need any bases to tour, my friend, I've got a lot. I've got a lot of friends that have got a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. I could recommend some. Um, I mean, Shin Banjo and Rosie, they, That's a that's a given. Um, mm -hmm. Have you been to Shimbanjo's museum? Um, it's on the same planet as my museum. I don't know. I've been to a couple of museums in my time. It depends how long ago you're talking. Are you talking like... Oh, maybe a year ago he would have shared it? So, so there's a chance I may have or may not have. You know, when I first got my PlayStation 5, I was doing quite a few base tours, and I just went off the idea because of some of the hang-ups I was having. But this... Yeah, it was very problematic. Yeah, this is amazing. So, I've, if, even if I have, I could go revisit because it's probably evolved a bit from then anyway. Yeah, well, well um, my one certainly has. Uh, there's a lot more um, micro builds inside it from the first time you visited. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, and Banjo's museum's incredible. It's every bit as detailed as mine, but completely separate style mm. um his is a lot he's like my 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 museum's quite mechanical his has got a lot of um like creatures and monsters and stuff and it's it's awesome awesome okay okay um k dog's actually working on a museum on the same planet uh action, action pants gaming um, okay he um, hasn't finished it yet yeah i do um, like k dog in his build some of his stuff's brilliant it's like all these yeah. old freight of frigates that he used to make years ago before frigates were a thing. They were yep. awesome. Yeah, that yeah, giant uh... digger he made, that was cool. Oh, was that him? That great big... Um, the excavator years thing, years yeah. 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 Yeah, it's K-Dog, yeah. I've done a few base-offs with K-Dog. So I don't, I don't think I've ever done a base-off with you, have I, T-Bags? No, I don't think so. Well, we get we get like forty minutes to build a base, live, like really quickly right. as quickly as you can, and then for twenty minutes we go and visit each other's bases, and then we open up a live poll and and people vote for the winner. Yeah, and K Dog oh, yeah, often so wins it. those when he's in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. K Dog's a beast. <laughs> he, he's very quick with what he does. Yeah, I think I've only won oh, one, just, one against him, and that's because I played on hard strings. He's just an incredible builder. Yeah. I mean, he he came up with the kaleidoscope. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think my like the. Yeah. Well, I, I I don't think I've come up with anything that great. I did the glitching separator staircase. Uh, yeah. Spiral. Yeah. Spiral staircase. I think I was the first person to do one of those. Yeah. K dog with the um, kaleidoscopy type opening doors and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was one of those things when I, I, I saw it and I, I immediately knew how he'd done it and was just blown away at, how, at, at, what, at what he'd actually done. You know, it was like, oh, wow. Um, yeah. He's a very clever like, guy. Why, how's, it, how's it? Nobody ever, Nobody's ever thought of that. 
before. Um, yeah, like I, 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 I took, I took the idea over to one of my racetracks and made a uh, ring of fire to jump through. <laughs> cool. Oh, um, that would have been epic. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Boyd actually did a video of that track on the weekend out of the blue. Uh, that was a that was a cool surprise seeing that pop up on Facebook. Oh, nice. I mean, yeah, when I used to do my base tours before, I used to just go on Facebook, look for a portal code, and then just do a surprise, yeah. make a video, and then just hit up the person and say, yeah, I'm just done a base tour for your base. But, yeah. Mate, I honestly, like, Boyd does so many base tours. I, 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 I think Hello Games needs to employ him to be in charge of featured bases at the Anomaly. Oh. Um, that would be cool. However, I also think it'd be quite nice if if they added like a guest book on base computers. So if I went over to your base computer right now, I could sign in, say Captain yep. Steve has visited, oh, leave you a little yep. message, get rid of the comms balls completely, have it done that way instead, yep. and then have like a rating system where you can give it like a five star and maybe on different things. So, you know, aesthetics, yeah, that'd be great. homeliness, um, layout, placement, yeah. Another thing I'd love to be able to do at other people's bases is add them as a favourite so they'd appear on my teleporter list. Yes, that would be freaking great too, yeah. Yeah, um, that's a great idea. You know, that would be great for farms, you know, like mm -hmm. there's, there's people out there um, who like to, um, you know, play the game in like a survival sort of, I mean, not necessarily survival difficulty, but... You know yeah. they don't they don't like uh, they don't like turning the uh, resources onto free or duplicating stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know that all went out the window for me a long time yeah. ago. I'm more or less play creative now. Uh, yeah, you know like how Reddit has Flare where you can add like what your post yeah. is about. Maybe they could have a drop down yeah. like that for base theme like racetrack, mm. farm, um, home or just, you know, homestead or something. Yeah, you know, just a whole load of different selections. And then maybe it could populate the featured bases and just rotate them out, like mm. from what the community has been visiting and hitting up and rating the most. Yeah, or even uh, like an in-game in submission for featured bases. Yeah, something like that. Even yeah, yeah, yeah it could work. Um, if if a if a you know somebody puts a base online and um, you know gets a hundred people come through it and give it a ten out of ten. Yeah, that needs to send an alert to Hello Games. Like, hey, there's something, something special over here. We should look at it. Yeah. Um, and I honestly think they need to pay more attention to featured bases because mm -hmm. builders are builders are adding free content into the game, especially interactive bases. Um, yeah. Well, the amount of know, inspiration they're, 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 you get going around them as well. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. People are like people will come and look at builds like this, and and they're going to want to one up it, right? Yeah. So yeah. people look at look at bases and they go and they go on and make something better and it's and you can you can look back through the history of bases in No Man's Sky and the, the every every year the building community is just coming up with more and more incredible ways to use the limited amount of parts we have to create all these different things. Um, the more we share, the the more it grows, right? 100% agree. It's like looking at your little koi ponds. I, I just want to go build one now. Maybe stick a little bridge going across it, put a little Japanese stone garden next to it. Yeah. You know, just make a little Japanese garden, you know. Yeah, and see that, yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, and doing, doing things like this that look great isn't necessarily difficult. Like, this is just a moon pool that I placed. No, no glitch building involved. Um, and the stones around the edges, they're all pre-placed. Um, it's just a, a lot of the time it's just the case of picking the right location and hiding the bits you don't want to be seen. And Yeah, yeah it's, it's really clever. I love it. I think you guys have done an amazing job here. The only trouble is if, if Hello Games did want to feature this, they'd only get part of it, wouldn't they? Because you're, you're well over the part count. I'm I'm sure they'd come up with a way. Like I I, ha I had a base featured a while ago, the Sentinel Colossus, if you remember. Oh yeah. Um, oh, yeah. and since since that was removed from featured, yeah. Um, it appears twice in my teleport list. There's one as my original base. Yeah. And one comes up as somebody else's base. Now, okay. if I go to my original one, it's just it's just my base there. There's a couple of other bases on the planet from yeah. my friends who built their 
you know, way back when. But if I go to the other one, yep. that says that it belongs to another player named Teabags, um, yep. I can st I can still build there. Yeah. But it also has all of the pollution from when it was featured. It's there's bases all over the place. There's combos all over the place. Yeah. Um, now uh, uh, that leads me to believe that Hello Games is somehow cloning the planet Put and putting it in a, in, a, in a different space yeah. somewhere. Um, yeah. When my Kraken Scorpion got featured, it had a load of comms balls all around it. And I was like, right, I'm going to read all those after it gets unfeatured. And then when yeah. it got unfeatured, all the comms balls had vanished. And I couldn't yeah. do that video. And I, I don't get to, I can't see another Captain Steve version of that Kraken Scorpion. So I can't go back to those comms balls. So. Maybe they've evolved it since when I got mine yeah. featured. Well, that's cool. That's good that they've done that to sort of protect your base because mm. that was that's a little bit of a concern because at the moment there's so many loopholes and gaps yeah. in security, isn't there? It's like yeah, we try to keep it as yeah. I know, I know, I know what you're talking about, like people trolling bases and stuff. Who, yeah. yeah, I mean, but I would love to share we, this we... out. I'd love to people to see this, but the thing is. You, you can't account for everybody people will respect mm. you and respect the bases and then other people won't and it's it's just yeah. that small there's percentage an, uh, there's an element of risk you know like yeah. this uh, the, this uh, this will get shared out eventually um mm -hmm. i mean at this current point in time it's not it's not a hundred percent finished okay it's, what, it's a situation where I'll, I'll probably spend another 10 hours just pottering around doing bits and pieces and you know details and fixing imperfections and things like that but yeah. it's it's close to finished I, i'd like to keep it under 6k ish but cool. i don't know i might keep going until it starts playing up that's brilliant um yeah for the time being i'm a little bit burned out on it and i'm probably going to take a week off but <laughs> yeah. this little red thing that's moving on the back of this rock is that part of that rock or has that been added to that rock I'm just looking around little the other thing yeah a little really red thing that's just all moving here this little polyp that's sort of jiggery pokering around this thing oh, oh look there's a black that's, one on the back of this one that's part of it oh okay i never noticed okay. that before yeah that's so cool weird yeah they're meant, they're meant to be underwater parts oh nice I guess. Well, judging by their aesthetic, they got the they got the flow. They look good underwater too. The well, nice thing about um, this place is you can hear all the water noises, all the drips, and stuff yeah. like that. It, it it feels like it's in keeping having some underwater parts here. You know, it's got that cave ambience. It really does. Um, I've been some pretty impressive builds, T Bag, and I think this is amongst my top five favourites, to be honest. Oh wow! This is really really That's cool. Some high praise. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's some yeah. very talented stuff out there, and this is amongst Every, my top Everything five here best. is um, it's there's there's nothing here that everybody else can't do. Like there, there's very minimal glitch building. Like I've, the 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 most intense glitch building here is probably Kayla's waterfalls. Okay, I mean, I'd yeah. imagine. No blender um, building, it's all glitch building, it's all stuff that's available just by slapping joysticks together. Yeah, okay, cool. Yep. Um, Lovely. Yeah, there's a... Once you really get to understand the free rotation and the... Uh, all these different parts have got different, like, different collision points and pivot points. Yeah. Um, you really get the hang of it so you um you get thing you can you can use the free rotation to get things in the uh, the most perfect positioning um it does take a bit of getting used to because it's quite it's i don't know it's not complicated but it's complex like there's a there's a lot of variation in it like the different um you know clicking the thumbsticks to change your rotation points and stuff like that yeah um just this little blob in this little round enclosure and getting all the rocks mm -hmm. to go around the outside of that one even on free placement even that's a tricky little bit of skill i mean I, i'd struggle just getting that together that, that yeah it's just aiming like i i have my um my mining beam active 
Yeah. So I've got that little dot in the centre of the screen, and that's um, I try to aim that around rather than <laughs> rather than focus on the actual object that I'm placing. Oh, sneaky! That's a nice little tip. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And that allows for much much like higher degree of precision when you're placing things. Laser guided base building. I like it. Very cool. Mm. Uh. And uh, also just a simple wire glitch. Mm here and there to to get things on the on the right angle or perfectly straight um like uh like if i wanted to say flip around uh, one of the short walls like um you know have it vertical instead of horizontal um yeah. i'd wire glitch it to the wall okay and in, in such a way that would place it perfectly horizontal uh, perfectly vertical rather than free rotate it to vertical when it's it's not going to be like it'll be like 89.5 degrees sort of thing as opposed to 90 degrees cool well glitch building mm. i don't do um i mean i glitch things in if i need some resources but i i, I never actually do glitch building sorry that was my alarm i've got to go put the bins out <laughs> 10 o'clock uh, in the uk yeah. this is awesome I'm, I'm getting close to my time of uh needing to get ready for work okay all right, well, we'll thank you very much for this talk. Time. This was awesome. Yeah, no problem at all, mate. Very uh, cool. Thanks for coming over. No and worries. I'll look forward to seeing it. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, send, I'll send you a list of names if you could put them in the description for me. Yeah, we'll do. Um, yeah, no problem. I think uh, the other people that built him absolutely deserve to be credited for what they, what they did. 100%. I mean, I think a lot of them have um, channels. The only one I don't know is the hmm. um, up-and-coming base builder that you mentioned earlier. Yeah, Heaven's Merc. I'm not sure if he's on YouTube. Heaven's I'll find Merc. out. I'll, okay. uh, I'll get in touch with him. Yeah. Um, All the rest I can remember, yeah. like Nerozi, yourself, and you know, Boyd, and, and Barber Bra Blaze, and Shimbanjo. Yep. But, yeah, the other chap. I've, heaven's, heaven's, I've already forgot oh. his bloody name already. Heavens, yeah, Heavens, <laughs> Heavens Merc. Merc. Oh, so, Does, okay, um, yeah, he's he's done some pretty cool builds, man. Um, he he's done. Uh, he did a. I, oh, I'm gonna say pyramid. Um, cool. Everyone's done done a pyramid. He did a particularly awesome pyramid. Um, it's worth looking at. Uh. Yeah, I, I noticed, and I thought it'd be cool to invite him over. Um, Sweet. Well, that staircase is rendered in now. The one that I fell through at the start, that's all there now. So oh, cool. 100% see everything now. There you go. Lovely. Cool. Yeah, had a little... Uh, ele I had an elevator in mind over here, and I uh, I gave up. <laughs> just teleporter. Over, or use yep. short-range teleporters. The elevator's broken down. Sweet. But yeah. Um, I'll have to get you to take a uh, wide view of the entrance, and just you'll 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 be able to see the absolute nothingness of of outside. <laughs> it's great wow. the, for this this gigantic village underneath, and there's there's no no sign of it outside aside from the. Um, yeah, that is really clever. Very cool. Very impressed. Very impressed. Well, I hope you have a good time at work, buddy. And um, thank you for the invite yeah. over. Probably not. It's a miserable, miserable day outside. <laughs> hey, do you work <laughs> out outdoors, outdoors do you? Yeah, I'm doing landscaping. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah. I'll go get ready for that. And thank, thanks for coming over, and I'll talk to you very soon. Yeah, thanks again. It's been awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Take care, buddy. Yeah. No problem, mate. I'll see you later. See ya. Bye-bye. Well, that was a awesome awesome base and so impressed with that really was impressed with that that was beyond impressive in fact people anyway if you like what you see please hit a like hit a subscribe check the video description for all the links for those that took part in this i'll put all their youtube channels in the video description too be sure to go hit them up because if you like those bases that that base you're going to like all their other bases go check out and see what they're actually doing out there in the verse very talented crew all of them uh so yeah awesome i mean some of them i know are part of the the pbf and things so very very awesome base builders anyway until next time people thank you very much for watching goodbye goodbye and goodbye again